this episode of Design Cut Build brought to you by Crawl Magazine, Lincoln Electric. My name is Mark Humphreys with Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems and today is day one of our first ever Design Cut Build Challenge. This is a three day long event held right here at our Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems headquarters in Reno, Nevada. Three teams from all over the nation have assembled here today to put their skills to the test in a fabrication challenge. The teams of three, Auburn Car Repair and Off-Road, Genride Off-Road, and Blue Note Fabrication will be assembling a tricycle from a very limited scope of materials. Each team will be given one 4x8 sheet of 11 gauge, one 4x8 sheet of 3 16 one stick of 1.5 inch 090, and one stick of 1 inch 120. They will also have access to our scrap material bin for other random types and thicknesses of metal, as well as the bicycle boneyard. However, names were picked out of a hat to determine which of the teams got access to the bicycle boneyard first, that order being Auburn, Genrite, and then Blue Note. Each team may not enter the boneyard again unless the preceding opponent has already had access. Day one consists of an expedited CAD and operations training. The teams will sit down with our local trainer, Chad Spradlin, to learn the ins and outs of our CNC machinery. Today I'm going to be teaching the teams on how to use the TorchMate CAD software, along with the basics of getting the best cut quality they can on our machines. We'll be using the 4400 with the FlexCut 80 plasma cutter, along with the 4800 with the FlexCut 125. Okay, I'm Darren with uh, Team Genrite. Um, Chad and uh, Lincoln are giving us a, a good tutorial on the on the CAD software used to, to use the uh, plasma table. So something that we're not really familiar with, but he's kind of going through step by step, showing us the the way to do it. Um, at first, for me, is a little bit confusing, but as you start wrapping your head around it, it's it's coming together fairly easily. Um, as I was telling some of these guys, it reminds me of a, a giant toolbox full of tools of uh, uh, different ways of doing the same thing. So it's just a matter of uh, coming up with what you're trying to build, grabbing the right tools and getting it done. Uh, so far, fairly simple. It's normally a full day course. They're in it for three hours and we're ready to go back out on the floor, plug their designs into the table software and actually start cutting stuff. Today is day two of the Design Cut Build Challenge and it's time for our teams to put their new skills to the test. They've had all night to design and prepare their files for the cutting process and I think they're ready. They'll be utilizing the Torchmate 4400, 4800, Masterpipe Compact Profiler and a host of Lincoln Electric welding equipment. Let's see what our teams have come up with. Hi, I'm Aaron Hagar, Right Runner's Garage, and I'm here at the Lincoln Cutting Facility for the Design Cut Build, and I gotta tell you, I had no idea what to expect, and this place is rocking. This is their new demo facility, and I am in love. Uh, I came down here, like, you know, with limited knowledge, and now, I wanna learn everything. I wanna know everything. There are so many cool things down here that I need to know, I need to learn, I need to get my hands on. I love it, these guys are building off the cusp, learning the system for the first time, learning CAD, using all the plasma cutters from Torchmate, and I gotta tell you, it's awesome. Thinking out of the box on this one. <laughs> it's a game changer. For a repurposed guy to be able to fabricate on this level, I wanna play. <laughs> Chopper. You know, we're, uh, we thought we were getting rowdy with this thing, so did a nice uh, industrial ladder frame using all Lincoln's tools to cut this stuff, and, and uh, we're going to be in good shape today. We're hoping to be a roller by the end of the day. We, we, the situation is that John has, uh, is calling cheap on the other two teams. I don't call it one. He called it one. And, <laughs> he you know, called out Tony. These guys called it on Tony. Right. So we have an issue with cheating, right? No way. So here's our cheat problems. We got extra grab from the boneyard for extra parts out of order. That was and, a... Yep. And then Tony has uh, pulled in a ringer to help him with his design. He's got the graphic oh, artist. Four-man team. Four-man team. So 
The proposed solution is uh, and this is John by well, I guess I can help you. You, you helped with the idea. But the proposed solution is a one hour timeout. Just to help explain things. Auburn Car Repair and Off-Road spotted Blue Note Fab prematurely re-entering the bicycle boneyard. On top of this, Blue Note Fab is accusing Genrite of illegally adding a fourth member to their team. It was decided amongst the competition administration that both teams would be penalized by being cut off an hour early on day two. Coming to the end, we're just putting on the details. I think we're all really happy that we're not scrambling like crazy. We're able to put on a little bit of icing and paint decorating here. What do you guys think? Yeah. Coming down to the wire, but I Open think we're the front make... tire doesn't not hold air. We haven't oh. checked that yet. What did you guys do here? Are you airs in already? So yeah, we're really happy with it so far. We're... Yeah, I think we've uh, we've completed what we wanted to. We've been wire brushing and polishing stuff. We're gonna throw the bars on it. I think we're uh, we're gonna call it. Yeah it turned out it turned out pretty good. We got a we got a lot of the basic stuff that we wanted to do done yesterday. So this morning was just doing some finished work that we wanted to add to it. Details, cosmetics, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, we're happy. Yep, we like it. Yeah, that stuff and we could have used that hour we lost this morning. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. alright. We'll still have it done. We got about what 30 minutes left? We'll yeah. get it together. I think we got plenty of time. So we're going to announce the winner of the People's Choice or the Employee's Choice Award first. And uh, we had voting during our lunchtime. And the winner for the Employee's Choice was Jen Wright off road yeah. Congratulations again to Jen Wright Off-Road on their incredible trike built completely out of metal. We'd also like to thank Blue Note Fabs and Auburn Car Repair and Off-Road for their participation in our first ever Design Fit Build Challenge. Be on the lookout at FabricationForum.com for the next episode. For all of us here at Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems, we'd like to thank you for continuing to make us the leader in the CNC plaza cutting industry. We'll see you next time.